Hello guys, welcome to another video. This one is a requested question for this uh, question number seven. So this one is a graph question and you can be certain that you will be having a graph question for your upcoming exam. So please follow closely every step of how we do this question, okay? So here we go. So here we have the variables x and y. They are connected by this equation. That is your main equation for your graph. Now part one. Some corresponding values of x and y are given to you in this table below. So we have x here, and we have the corresponding values of y. So part one, we have to complete the table. So from where you can see here, we have to replace x by minus 3 to find the value of y. So let's do that. So 3 plus minus 3 minus, so that will be uh, 9 divided by 2. That should be minus 4.5. That's the value of y when x is equal to minus 3. Now what is the value of y when x is equal to 5? That will be uh, same thing, minus 4.5. Okay, so that will be part 1. That is pretty easy. Now let's move on to the other parts of the question. So here we have been given a few instructions to follow. Uh, using a scale of 2 centimeters to 1, draw the x-axis from minus 3 to 5 okay and then the y-axis will be from minus 5 to 5 but it is 1 to 1 so first we have to draw the axis properly so let's see so we have to make sure that we have enough space for both so I would say I would start around this value here okay so that will be my x-axis Let's continue and always label them as well okay this is your x so it has to be one two and three that will be zero and that will be my y-axis and of course uh, don't forget to label this one as well for your y-axis now we have to uh, write down the scale so on the x it says we have to reduce two to represent 1. So this is 0. This will be 1. So 2 squares will be here. 1. That will be 2, 3, 4, and 5. This will be minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. So it has to be from minus 3 till 5. As you can see, this is okay. Now, for this one has to be 1 to 1, but from minus 5 to 5. So let's do that. Here that will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. And then here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so now we have to plot the points. Um, let's use this color. The first point is minus 3 minus 4.5, so that will be between those two. And we have minus 2 minus 1, uh, minus 1 minus 1.5, so I have 1.5, should be right here, 0, 3. Then we have 1 will be 3.5, then we have 2 will be 3, then 3 will be 1.5, 4 will be minus 1 and 5 will be minus 4.5 okay so now we have all the points we just have to join them by a smooth curve it is really important important that we join all the points together with a smooth curve because uh, your questions that follows will be tangents will be uh, graph questions and they all depend on your curve being a good curve so make sure you try your best to make this a smooth curve okay so for this side, something which looks like this, that will be uh, joining with that one. Okay, so not too bad for this side. Now let's try for this side. So here I have something which looks like this. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so that will be my curve and always label that uh, as your curve. So 3 
xx minus x square over 2. Now that is your curve, pretty easy till now, so let's move on to the next question. So here we have to, by drawing a tangent, estimate the gradient of the curve at this point. So 3, 1.5 will be at this point. So we have to draw a tangent at this point. So a tangent is a line that passes by this point. It just touches this point in this direction. So basically we have to draw a line that touches this point and we have to make sure we continue this line on both sides of the point. Now next step, we have to choose one point on this side and one point on this side. Now, you can choose any point that you want to. I would choose the one that I find convenient for me. So I would choose 4.5 and this one is 4.5. And this one shows to be about minus 1.4. And I will choose one up here. Um, I will choose this one. That is 1 and 5 point, shows to be 5.6. Okay, so now I have two points. I can find my gradient pretty easily, right? So I have 1, 5.6, I have 4.5, and then I have minus 1.4. So to find the gradient, we just use our formula, which is y2 minus y1 minus 5.6 divided by x2 minus x1 so let's see what we get divide by 4.5 so, so let's try 1.4 minus 5.6 minus 1.4 minus 5.6 divided by 4.5 minus 1 so for me it shows to be about minus 2 so your values may be a bit different and that's okay as well as long as you show how you find your values you should be okay okay so now let's move on to part uh, I think it's part four of the question and this part may be interesting for you guys okay so the points of intersection of the graph of y and the line that we don't know are given to you by this so we have to find the value of k so the trick here is whenever you have this kind of question when you see the points of intersection and when you're given two equation you have to you have to look at them and solve them simultaneously that's the trick here so let me try to do this on on the same page why not so basically if you observe we have one equation which is this this is let's say this is my number one and this is my number two so now we have to observe what they have in common okay so I can see they have x in common they also have x squared in common. So I can try to make x squared become your subject of formula. That will be 10 plus 2x. Now, so once I have this, I can replace this by this value. So your y will be 3 plus x minus x squared is equal to 10 plus 2x. Divide by 2. Now we have to simplify, that will be 3 plus x minus 5 minus x. And that will be, this one will cancel out, minus 2. So finally, by doing this simplification, you will have y equal to minus 2. Now we compare the line y equal to k and the line y equal to minus 2. So k has to equal to minus 2. So just to recap, whenever you have to solve these kind of questions, when you see point of intersection and to find these values of line, you have to solve simultaneously. So simultaneous equations, you have to do this to get the values that you need for your line or value of k in this case. Now, by drawing the line y equal to minus 2 on the graph, find the solutions of the equation. So basically by drawing this, this line, you have to check where it cuts your graph. So where's the line? y equal to um, minus 2. Should be about is this line. So we have to draw this line. And then and then provide the corresponding value of x that you see. So the thing is whenever you draw a line, always remember you have to label the line. Okay. This is your line, y equal to minus 2 and the values for x is this first one is 
three. This one is minus two point four. So I have two values. It is four point three or minus two point four. That is according to my graph, but your graph may be a bit different, and that's okay as long as you show your work on how did you find those answers. Okay. Now let's move on to part B. So here we have a sketch of a graph of y equal to p a power x. This is the equation of this line. Okay. Now we have been given that a is a positive value. The graph passes to two points, as you can see here. Now, the reason why they give you two points is to help you to find those values. So remember. Uh, whenever they give you something in a question, there's a reason why, and you have to use these, these values, okay? Part 1, write down the value of P. So we have to use that equation, and we have to use this point. So we have Y equal to P A of X. Use this point. The point given to you was 0, 4. This is your X, and this is your Y. Replace back, you will have 4 equal to P A power 0. Now anything power 0 is 1, so p is equal to 4. That is the first one. Now we have to find the value of a. So going back to the equation, right now we have y equal to p is 4 ax. Now to find the value of a, we have to use the other point. So this is 2, 36. This is your x, this is your y. Replace, you will have 36 is 4 a power 2. Now divide by 4 on both sides, you will have 9 is equal to a square. From this you will have a is equal to plus minus 3. But it tells you a has to be positive, so you will choose a to be 3. Now for part 3, the graph passes through this point, 4 and q. Find the value of q. So now since you have the equation for the curve, which is 4, a is 3, power x, we have this point, which is x, so 4q, this is your x, this is your y. We place in this equation to find the value of, of q. q is y, 4, 3 power x. 3 power 4 times 4, that should be 3, 24. So q will be 3, 24, according to the equation. So this will be your question number 7. So just to recap, Whenever you have to solve the point of intersection of this and this to find something, you have to solve it simultaneous equation. And then in the end, you will find the corresponding value that you need to find. And then always show your work on your graph for your full marks. And finally, whenever you're given some values, you have to use them to find the answers. So on this note, I hope that was useful. And thank you for watching. I will see you soon.